Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Chris Hewish and I'm the president of Exola. I'm here to talk about the future of game publishing and distribution and share some thoughts on how you can succeed as it evolves. Over the past 15 years, the games industry has seen tremendous growth in the number of games released and the amount of revenue generated. To keep ahead of this growth, it's more important than ever to keep up with the changes shaping our industry. We know that as the industry grows, more distribution services will appear, and what works today may not work tomorrow. This makes it increasingly important to own the relationship with your players, which until now has been a daunting problem for most developers. Fortunately, there is a simple, useful, and easy to implement solution. Run your own cross-platform publishing ecosystem. I've seen many changes over the years. However, none of them have been quite as revolutionary as the shift from analog to digital distribution. In 2005, digital distribution was limited to a few big players and didn't exist as we know it today. For everyone else, the only distribution option was signing with a publisher. Developers stuck to creating games while the publishers handled the business of games, such as marketing, monetization, and distribution. In those days, publishers would keep the lion's share of the revenue, while developers received the remainder. This could be as high as an 80-20 split, which wasn't a perfect model, but there was no alternative. As time passed and technology evolved, the line between publisher and developer began to blur. Developers started publishing their own games, and publishers started investing in development studios. Three main factors have contributed to this change, so let's take a quick look. First, Creating games became much easier. Tools like Unity and Unreal made it so you didn't have to assemble teams of people just to create a game. Small studios and individual creators began making market-worthy titles using these engines. And, as many of you might have seen with the recent Unreal Engine 5 preview, those tools have only improved over time. Second, the art of game design began to mature. Universities and colleges introduced courses and programs that taught students how to make games, leading to a larger pool of talent that benefited everyone. I've personally hired graduates from USC and Noman, and they've been exceptionally well prepared. Third, selling games became easier than ever as developers began self-publishing on new platforms with huge global audiences. Games are easier to build, development cycles are faster, and there are fewer barriers to entering the market. Developers can literally publish a game from their desk and players can begin playing it with just a few clicks. But in reality, distribution platforms have replaced publishers, and most developers publish on a single platform that handles the technical details of distribution, such as payment processing, promotions, and owning player data. Keep it simple, right? I get it. I'm a developer and enjoy focusing on the art of making games. But to be successful, you also need to focus on the business tools that will help your game succeed as the market continues to mature. This includes tools allowing you to be platform agnostic and have a direct relationship with your players. Developers that don't confine themselves to one platform have found that they're free to experiment with new ideas in terms of game design, monetization, community management, and marketing. They impress players with innovation, and some of them have gone on to become the most popular releases in recent years. However, being platform independent is only a part of the gaming revolution that's going on. Some developers are already ahead of this curve, like Riot Games with their innovative and evolving Riot Games launcher. Others are just now pulling ahead, like Rockstar Games, with the recent rollout of their own cross-platform launcher for Grand Theft Auto V, which integrates with the Rockstar Games Social Club. You may also think that creating your own game hub would conflict with existing platforms like Steam, but it doesn't. For example, Electronic Arts recently returned to Steam with their ambitious EA All Access Partnership and now has their own account system integrated into Steam, which also requires the use of their branded Origin Games launcher. Roblox, XCOM 2, Fortnite, these are just three high-profile examples of games we've worked with that utilize a cross-platform publishing ecosystem. None of these games would be the hits they are today if they only published on a single platform. They succeeded due to maintaining a unified ecosystem across multiple platforms and creating their own publishing hubs for driving sales, marketing efforts, owning direct relationships with players, 
and building communities. Owning your ecosystem isn't limited to the games industry. Major players in other industries have embraced this strategy and are selling direct to consumers, instead of relying on third parties for all their distribution needs. Disney is the gold standard when it comes to cross-platform publishing and owning their own ecosystem. Last year, they got into the streaming space with Disney+, Plus, which they also bundled with ESPN+, Plus and Hulu, two companies they have a majority stake in. They leveraged their existing ecosystem of theme parks and networks to heavily cross-promote and support this new streaming initiative, ensuring its success. No matter your size, you can do this too. The solutions already exist for building your own publishing ecosystem, and Exola has them for you. It's like the old adage, give someone a fish and you feed them for a day. Teach them to fish and you feed them for a lifetime. We're here to teach you how to fish in the proverbial sea of games, and it's not as difficult as you might think. Okay, now you know the importance of owning your own publishing ecosystem and see that some of the most successful companies are doing it. But what else can it do? Well, let's start with portability. When a game has portability, it means the state of player's progression is synced across all platforms. Everything you've earned, purchased, and unlocked travels with you, regardless of what platform you're playing on. This even applies to your social graph, allowing you to play with your friends even if you're all on different game systems. The ability to make your game portable across platforms is slowly changing, but widespread adoption by game developers hasn't happened yet, and you're at the mercy of platform holders who could close the cross-platform door at any time, like when they launch new hardware. Fortunately, we make it easy to build your own self-run ecosystem and make your games portable. Fortnite, Rocket League, Call of Duty, Minecraft, NBA 2K, and Roblox are currently utilizing this sort of cross-platform functionality, and more and more players will come to expect this from their games in the future. We also know that communicating with our players is critical to a game's success. Players have come to expect a relationship with their games, and they happily reward those who engage with them. When players are linked to cross-platforms via your hub, communicating and engaging with them becomes a lot easier. That's because running your own ecosystem lets you own a direct two-way relationship with your players. You have a better understanding of who they are and what drives them, which means greater success for your game. But you can't do that if they're scattered across different platforms and isolated from your game team and other players. Building and maintaining a strong community is one of the most important things you can do to increase your chances of success. And it all starts with direct communication. Repeat sales are another huge benefit of owning your own ecosystem. Players who have already bought into your game are much more likely to become repeat spenders. In fact, you have a 60 to 70% chance of making a successful sale to someone who's already made a purchase versus a 5 to 20% chance with non-spenders. This is important because owning your own ecosystem means you know your audience and their habits, allowing you to target different offerings which increase your chances of repeat sales. You also have the data that makes it easier to convert new players into spending players. While we're on the topic of community and communication, let's talk about influencer marketing. I've spoken with a lot of developers who are frustrated by it, myself included. The top creators are hard to reach without a massive upfront spend, which is cash most teams don't have, even if it brings good returns. But you can launch your own affiliate programs where you can actively court influencers with strong engagement stats and pay them through a rev share model. This reduces your upfront risk while giving the kinds of upside incentives that appeal to influencers and creators. Okay, let's shift gears and talk about the importance of user data. 95% of the developers on Steam don't collect user data at all, which is a huge missed opportunity to develop their brand and increase revenue. Meanwhile, games like Fortnite have their own cross-platform player accounts, which provide a treasure trove of data and an improved experience for gamers. This means players can create an account that connects all their profiles and progression across all mobile, console, and PC platforms. You can do this too. It's easy, and you can store player profiles and data in a database you control. Then, you can analyze that data to form stronger relationships with your players, drive higher levels of engagement, and generate greater sales. You can even make better development choices and increase the effectiveness of your marketing efforts. At Exola, we've got the tech for all your game business needs, and we can help you launch your own publishing ecosystem. Use our launcher, login system, and website builder to reap the rewards of owning your player data and selling directly to your community. 
Use our marketing solutions for direct access to dozens of affiliate networks and hundreds of thousands of influencers, streamers, and creators. Our technologies have been designed to easily bring other business services into your own global ecosystem. This includes localization, matchmaking, content delivery networks, analytics, local payment systems, community management, funding sources, and more. We have the solutions and they're ready for you, your players, and your games. To summarize, there are three things you can start doing today to build a more successful games business. One, build your own game launcher and player login system to become platform independent as soon as possible. Two, create an engaged community with actionable insights from all the data you'll collect. Three, create a hub that connects all the services you need to work with influencers, expand into new regions, and establish your brand. If you've learned anything today, it's that the future of games is about community and collaboration. Trends in technology will always shape the way games and other media are consumed. With Exola in your corner, you can stop being reactionary to these trends. We think ahead and future-proof our solutions so you can survive in a constantly evolving industry. We make the business technology of games better, easier to use, and available to everyone. Thank you, and I look forward to connecting soon.